Hey, Lazy Girl Approved fam. I am back today with another wig review. This one uh, came out recently. I would say also probably about a week ago. Um, the long version of it, when it came out, I didn't get this color, so I made sure that I got this color this time. Um, and I'm going to try to do these a little bit more shorter. I'll put a link to the wig, but I'm not going to pull it up on the screen. Just trying to get through these. So this is Bobby Boss Astrid. Um, and I did get her in the color that they show online, the black with green, as well as the blonde with, I think it's blonde with white and lime. We'll see. Um, but this is Bobby Boss Astrid. What is the color actually called? HH1B slash GRLEN. Um, it is HD 13 by 4 deep lace. Well, we'll look at the card. Let's get her out and see what's what. All right. Here is the card. That red looks gorgeous. Might have to try it. Okay, so it says HD 13 by four hand tied. Oh, I didn't even know, realize that was, it was 13 by four. Free flip, free parting space. Laid baby hair, glueless wear. Um, ultra lightweight cap, high heat safe, color block shades. Extra wide at least edges. Okay, let's just look at her. She's cute. I definitely am still sad I didn't get the long one. I'm still sad. I it's like a bonus that this is free parting space, but it is $49.94, so, but it's Bobby Boss. It has that nice cap. It's got two combs in the front, one in the back, but it's got that, to me, this is like the most comfortable cap. Um, let me get these, this lace cut, and then we'll keep talking. <laughs> All right, lace is cut off, and it did have um, green baby hairs on the other side. So there's that. Um... Oh, let me get this hair out. All right, let's get it on my head. I am not going to put a wig cap on. I only really put a wig cap on when I might um, get rid of it give it away, what have you. Let me get my mirror. Get my mirror. Um, just because it takes me longer to do it with a wig cap, and so I kind of just, unless there's a necessity for it, a need for it, um, because this is, I'm going to be totally honest, I don't usually wear a wig cap when I go out unless it's one that's going to like fall off my head because it's giant. Um, like technically this is glueless is what they say. So it should be able to just be on your head and then you use the combs that are in the wig to kind of put it in your hair, you know. Now that I have some hair, when I shaved my head, I had to wear a wig cap because there was nothing for these little combs to go into. <laughs> so, let's see. I'm trying to look at it. I should have cleaned my desk off more. There we go. So, one thing I will say is that this lace is so soft. When I was cutting it, just holding it to cut it, it was like, oh my gosh, this lace is so soft. So soft. Um, there are some laces where I'm like, did you use starch on this or what? And this is not that. This is so soft. The hair itself is super soft. It's textured, but it's really soft. Let's check the a big head friendliness. That's still hair that I cut. Okay, big head friendly. Let me take these off. So it's down past my eyebrows. So yeah, she's, and I could tell just when I put her on my head because there's room, which is a downside to if you have a small head. Sometimes it's bunchy. I have been known to sew 
the inside of a wig cap smaller. I would say I'll do a video on that, but I'm not going to promise that because it probably won't happen anytime <laughs> soon. There are a couple videos. Actually, I'll link them for you guys in here um, since I'm mentioning it or I'll, yeah, I'll link it in the description. The one that I use to learn how to do it. It's not that hard. It's just, um, I did it on like a really cheap wig first so that I didn't wreck it and I actually ended up doing it just fine. So if I can do it with my messed up hands, you may be able to do it. Okay. So first thoughts are she's cute, but I just, um, oh, there's something about this trying to move the mirror so I can see. I think it might be the length that it is. It's that like in between length where it's not short and it's not long and the front is longer than it's like it gets short in the back. Um, you'll see in the 360. Um, there is this, there is a black kind of stripe here. Um, as per usual, though, it's, you know, when you move it around, it's going to, like, shift what it looks like. But you can play with it a little bit if you want to. Um, because, let's see, it says it's free parting space. So let's, I didn't even pay attention to that. Where is the edge? Let me go the other way. Duh. And it says it's free parting space, but it's weird because it's a very, um defined part yeah, okay usually I don't know it feels kind of when Bobby Boss does it it's more willy-nilly but I guess because it's a uh, half and half color so let's just pick pick apart pick apart pick apart pick apart now I will say if you want to treat this like your regular hair and just flip it around you know while you're out whenever you want to and whatever I would recommend wearing a wig cap wig grip cap or a wig grip so that you do not yank this off your own head so I probably will put a wig cap on okay that's cute I like that then it makes it look all green so you can decide if you want it half and half or if you want it like this and mixed That's cute. 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 I know. It's been a long week. Long day. Long, long, long. My day get my week did get a tiny bit better and it will be better when the work week is over. And then I'll be recording all the rest of the wiggies. So big head friendly. Textured soft. Like it is really soft. It's it's really soft but you can see the texture um, you can see the yaki uh, texture um, hairline I mean it, it is free parting space so they're usually better and the other good thing about free parting space what is wrong with me I can't I keep forgetting to bring I have the, my hair tie in my hair right now because I don't have a wig cap, but because it's free parting space, you can pull it back. Um, let's see where the, there's my gray sticking out. So the ear tabs come to like where they should on me. So I have a small to average head. So if you have a bigger head, they're going to be higher up, but, um, it is definitely not the worst, uh, not party space, the worst, uh, hairline. Is it, you know, pre plucked Not really, but it does not look horrible. So if you were to put it back, which I think it would be cute if you did something, it won't look horrendous. Is it as good as like, if you saw my review a while ago for Bobby Boss Susie, is it as good as that? No. Um, Susie was like, it looked like real my real hair and what have you. Now this is colored, so colored hair, special colors. Um, 
so it's it's harder. The Susie's were special colors as well, but it wasn't like block colors. It was interspersed. So, so I like this. Um, let's get a 360. It's weird because it feels like a lot of hair, but it's not. And it doesn't feel like a lot of hair in a bad way. It just, I don't know how to explain it. It's like it doesn't feel super thin on my head, but it's not like it's super dense. Like it's not super duper thick. So um, it just feels weird. It feels like more hair than it is. Um, and it's weird that it's um, shorter in the back. You guys, I almost forgot to do the second color. It's been a long something, everything. Um, so the second color is HH1B slash 613 MT. I believe MT stands for mint. So let's get her out. All right, here's the card. Here she is. Yeah, so mint. And it, I know if I pay attention, it says 613, but in the picture, it always looks white. And I get, I don't, my brain says, oh, cool, that's white. And it's never white. Never. Uh, all right. So the inside of the cap on this one is a lighter cap, probably because it has half 613. Two combs in the front, one in the back, and it is that free parting space, 13 by four. So I'm not going to uh, cut the lace off this one because I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. So let's put it on and then you can see the baby hairs. Um, the baby hairs, you know, will be similar on the other, the first one I did, I cut them off so you couldn't see them on my head with the baby hairs, but you can see these. Let's get her brushed. Um, and I am looking, going to start looking for somebody um, who wants to help me um, edit videos and do social media posts. Um, so if that is something you'd be interested in, uh, send me a DM on Instagram or Facebook. Um, basically, we will come to an agreement on payment of wigs. <laughs> so if you want free wigs, um, and we can figure out, you know, how much will equal how much, but you guys see how many I give away and I have a ton, um, that I can give away to, or give to someone as payment. Um, if you don't want wigs as payment, we can talk about payment. Um, it's just easier for me to be like, Hey, here are the wigs that I have. Which ones do you want? Uh, a lot of them are, you know, also still new and packaged. So there's that. If that's something you'd be interested in, message me. Um, I will say I need somebody who is, you know, familiar with video editing. I don't have a lot of time to, uh, we can, I can teach some of it, like the specific stuff to me, but not just from scratch, um, and social media. So, and the biggest thing honestly is a, um, positive attitude. Um, I get enough negativity like at work and in life. So I try to keep it light with the people I surround myself with. Um, so there's that. So let me know. I can, I don't even need to test it cause I can feel that it's big head friendly, but yeah, it's big head friendly. 
Um, and it's not like stupid loose where I feel like it's just going to fall off. It's just, it's got room. Um, it, it's soft, but it's not as soft as the other one. This side is softer than the blonde side, which is like normal, but it's still, I don't know. The other one just felt way softer. It's still soft though. Um, and it's the same thing, shorter in the back. I definitely thought I would love it more. Let's, um, oh, here's the, let me show you the baby hairs. The baby hairs. Kind of Sam. Um, let's try to free part it. Free, free parting. If you're old, you will know what I was just trying to sing horribly. Or that wasn't the exact song, but free falling, you know. I think it's Tom Petty. Tom Petty. I don't know. I'm old. All right, so there is it with some of the blonde on the other side. I don't know where that accent was. Um, yeah, I'm not loving it on me. I feel like some of y'all this would look amazing on. Not me. Um, and it does look white in, in the mirror or whatever, but it's, when I look at it, I'm like, that's blonde, but it is a very white blonde. So there's that. Let's see if I part it the other way. <laughs> part it the other way. Mm. What that looks like. That's actually kind of cool. Kind of digging that. But then it hides the the one of the reasons I got it, which was I like that mint. But you know. So y'all know what's coming. <laughs> I'll be giving this away. Um. I'm trying to think of something more that I can do for this one. Um, I'm I'm stuck at 461 subscribers. You guys, I really need to get to a thousand. I know it's not like you can make people, <laughs> you know, subscribe. But if you are watching this and you watch my videos and you enjoy them, please make sure you're subscribed. Um, all these wigs come out of my pocket. There's no, nobody gives me wigs. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Um, and, and whoever wants to help me, if you want to help me get sponsored, that'd be great. So I don't have to, this doesn't have to come out of my pocket. Um, that would be awesome. But what I was saying is if you guys could help me get to a thousand, that would be great. So I can at least get some pennies back on, you know, all this money I'm putting into these wigs. Cause it is not cheap. Um, yeah. <laughs> and you know, if, if, so the money that I spent on these, these type of brand wigs will probably start going into my own brand of wigs. I will still do some of these, but not, not to this level. It'll be like, I'm super picky. So unless, you know, I can start making, if I can start get a thousand subscribers and start making money off of the views, you know, the ads or what have you, then I can kind of set aside that to, that just goes to these type of way, Bobby Boss and all that stuff. But my ultimate goal, you guys, honestly, if in a perfect world, if everything, you know, if I could have everything my way, I would basically want to create my own Bobby Boss type line, but, um, just, specializing in special colors. So that's what I would love to do is become a brand of hair. Um, cause I know what I do and don't like. I, I know what I wish these companies would do that they don't. Okay. Enough about that. So if you want to win this lovely, 
what you need to do is be subscribed to me on this channel, subscribe to this channel. Um, go, uh, add me or, or follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram and follow me on TikTok. Now, some of you guys might not have all of those, but whatever you have, just put in the comments. I'd like to be entered. I am following you on and then tell me where you're following me so that I can, you know, know which ones you follow me on. And then I will, uh, draw the winner this Friday. Make sure you get your entry in by noon next Friday, which is today is the second. So it'll be, so by the 10th of March, 2023, um, get your entry in to win this lovely lady. Okay. So let's get a 360 and then we'll do final thoughts. Mm -hmm. Final thoughts. Uh, so again, it's 50 bucks. Bobby Boss is always fantastic, but if I had to go back and do it over again, I would not spend 50 bucks. I would not, I wouldn't buy them because there's, there's nothing super outrageous about them. They're cute. They're different, but there's other wigs that came out right now that I'd rather have spent $50 on. Let's just put it that way. Um, it is a frontal, so that's, I'm sure, why it's 50 bucks. Totally get that, except that this is not the same quality as usual of Bobby Boss um, frontals. Like, it's not, it's not plucked, like pre-plucked or whatever. It's not, the density is really thick where the frontal is, and so it just, it's, it just looks like a regular non-frontal to me. Now, you can free part it, so that's the difference, but, um, and then, you know, with this one, I don't necessarily like the colors. It is cute, like when you play with it and stuff. Um, and then the green one, I like it, but again, not my favorite. Now, if that was purple, I'd probably be like, yay. <laughs> but, um, so there's that. Um, it's textured soft. It's, uh, let me pull up my list, y'all. So it is big head friendly, yes. Length is, what did I say? 18 and 11 ish. Don't quote me on that. I will put the final, like when I take this off my head and measure it, I'll put it on the chart that will be up right now. Um, shedding is, I would say medium, um, tangly a little bit. You're going to want to bring your brush, although it will, you can probably just finger comb it honestly, but if you don't have it really secure and you finger comb it, you might rip it off your, off your head. So if you have a smaller head, if you have a larger head, you're good. It'll stay on. <laughs> Uh, baby hairs, yes. Combs two in the front, one in the back. We already went over whether it's worth the money and the texture. Um, it does say high heat, but it does not say... Yeah, and it says glueless wear, no glue needed. You can't really say that if you... Because if somebody has a small head, I mean, I guess they assume you buy for the size of your head, but that's not really how that works. Um, yeah, it doesn't say the... It just says high heat safe. So what I usually do is for when they say high heat safe, to me, the safest bet with that is 350. It's usually 400, but you don't know. So just assume, you know, 350, but don't quote me on that. I'm not the manufacturer. Um, what else? Hairline um, is not the worst, but it's not the best either. Um, but it does, I don't think it would look bad if it was pulled back. So, you know, it's, it's decent. I've definitely seen worse. I'll tell you that. Um, yeah. And then the density is kind of light to medium. Um, and then it doesn't, it's not 
dry. It's not too shiny, so it really doesn't require any products. So it is Lazy Girl approved because you can just cut the lace and go. Um, yeah. So let me know what you guys think. Which one is your favorite? Make sure if you want to win this, you enter to win. Um, and as always, I will see you again soon. And I'm thankful that you are here and spending time with me. You guys are awesome. See you soon. Bye.